Let's do this. Killer Jin. Woo! All right. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. I'm joined by T. Hi. And she's got her own YouTube channel. Links in the description below. Thank you guys for joining me for her first impressions on Killer Gen. This is a Kickstarter project that is going to be, links are going to be in the description below if you want to back this project. Um, this is a sponsored video by the Killer Gen, and we've got several um, links that I'm going to throw uh, in the description of this video for you guys to check it out. The website for um, this game, the demo you can download for free is KillerGen.com. It looks very nice, very professional. Um, if you want to back it on a Kickstarter, the links will be there. And you can download a demo for free. That's what we're going to be playing, the free demo. Uh, 0 0.9.9, which was released on 4.4.18. And it has it's available for Mac, PC, and Linux. And it shows you a bunch of stuff about the game on the website. It's really cool. Um, you guys should check it out. But um, we're going to jump right into the, the demo project and take a look at it right I'm now. I'm excited. It looks so awesome. It does look very professional, <laughs> like night and day different from the last time I played this project, like a year ago. Really? I didn't know you played this one. I did play this game before, but it was like a shell of its former... It looks uh, good. Of, of, it, ...of what it is now. So anyway, so the music's going, and uh, yeah. I like the title music. It like this tribal vibe. It's pretty cool. Right, right. Okay, so let's jump into the credits real quick for the Killer Gen. Killer Gen Kickstarter, and all the links are here, and they are available. And all of these other Facebook, things are game here. Guide, I, I haven't even heard of Game Guide, Homestead Guide, what is that? Nice. All this stuff is there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Very cool. Cool, cool. Very cool. We're going to turn on Always Dash. Command Remember is going to be on. Battle Camera. Difficulty will keep it 100%. Animated tiles is fine. All right, let's jump into a new game. The Killer Gen demo version 0.9.9, simplified version 1, proof of concept. Killer Gen is on Kickstarter. The links are available at KillerGen.com. Check that out. You can start the game in one of two ways. Choose carefully. Select the appropriate image. Left image, start main RPG, uh, homestead later. I think that's the one we're supposed to play. Yeah. Yeah. And then main jump straight game. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That is that. really cool. Cool. Oh, we're going to go left. Kudos, man. That's awesome. I like that. I like how you choose. Civil war is erupting around the country and has divided its people into two unyielding factions. Is there supposed to be an apostrophe after its? Or after the, in between the T and the S? No. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's showing ownership, so I'm wondering. Jin, a new race of beings, have found themselves at the center of this turmoil, cloaked in conspiracy and fascination. Foreign races are drawing dangerously close to a small, peaceful fishing village. Nurok is tasked with finding how much of these foreign invaders know before it's too late. Auto run events going on right here. The RPG can be played in one of two ways normal mode, the way the game is supposed to be played, full battles. Or story mode for those who want to simply enjoy the story. No battles for non RPG. Maybe play. we should do story so we can cover more of the story. You know what? I honestly want to do normal mode because I want to look at the battle system. I like battle you systems. You know, there's an argument for both sides. I totally agree with you. Definitely. On your channel, Definitely. you can go ahead and do story mode. <laughs> if you're using a gaming monitor above 60 hertz, please check that we've done the Sync Monitor FPS. Thank you for including that plug in. Nice. You know, if you need a base performance, this game is optimized for 60 FPS. Well, we are running at 60 FPS even on a 144 hertz monitor. Our scouts have reported rhetoric army presence in this area. I think it it uh, serves to mention also that this is on Kickstarter and a lot of the art is still RTP but it's not going to continue to be RTP. It's on Kickstarter in order to revamp everything. Absolutely. It's not final version. This is yeah. the current demo version but it's not final version. Things are going to get better as the project moves along. There's still right. over a month uh, as, as of recording this that it's going to be on Kickstarter. So yeah. expect a lot of changes and uh, improvements over, uh, especially after this video hits, right. there's going to be yeah. some upgrades, I bet. Yeah. Okay, it's getting dark. Enemy soldier incoming from the west. You can be the enemy soldier. Okay. <laughs> We're using some sort of Tarax. It looks I'm like Tarax lighting. I'm an enemy lighting. soldier. <laughs> yeah. I blocked in, blah, blah, blah. We need to figure out why rhetoric soldiers are this far into neutral territory. Urodin is watching over us using Farsight. He can see wherever we go. So useful. Thanks, Erodin. You can be the old man. You want to be the old man? Yeah. Keep moving east. The Redrick camp should be just ahead. You're going to be Erodin. I'm Erodin. I'll be Biggs. It's about time we light a torch. Great idea. Torches allow us to see better. No need to worry about torches giving us away to the enemy. Enemies are stupid. <laughs> I agree. Keep in mind, though, they will eventually burn out. We can always find more. 
You can light a torch by clicking the torch icon at the top of the screen. Right there. Uh, let's click the torch. Boom, looks like a mace, but hey, whatever. Click exclamation mark to clear. Hmm. Okay, torch button will light the torch. Mode button, use arrows to select mode. Normal mode is fine for now. It's your everyday mode. Please consult the quest log and the main menu for additional information. Can we close this? So does that mean we we're going to have to strategically use the torch to like avoid being detected by enemies? It's possible, but I think it's just to give us more uh, like vision. Um, quest log. We were... Wow, do we start with all of these quests? We have 12 quests available. Okay. Wow. Let's quickly grant, glance over them. Red Rick Army Encampment. Uh, what is the Red Army, Army up to? Scout the enemy encampment. Hunger. Your party will eventually get hungry, so feed them. Okay, we're just gonna do a That's very, just very. That's kind of like a tutorial quest. Yeah, yeah your party will eventually days. get tired, so you'll have to sleep. If someone gets injured, uh, if you're defeated in combat, you'll get three random injuries. That's a, a, an interesting way to do your tutorial to teach people like the battle system and and the gameplay system is to make it a quest. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. So there's pickpocket mode, there's fishing is relatively easy, simply have a fishing rod and some bait. Sneak mode, uh, you can sneak around and get additional information. Mortal. Moral. Moral. Morale. Morale, yeah. yeah. This is what your teammates <laughs> think of you, okay. Party limit skills, there is a party limit gauge underneath the party. Okay, so this is Ganfly's uh, party limit gauge, probably a plugin that's commonly used. In battle, you may notice an overkill animation when an enemy dies, right? If you deal double their max HP on the killing blow, you're gonna overkill them. So if they've got 100 HP, you hit for 200 critical strike, and then overkill. Um, what happens? You get experience double experience two. bonus, wow. plus plus, plus a base 25, and then two and a half times gold, plus wow. 100, and then double the drop so rate. So a huge incentive for overkill. You definitely want to be able to overkill, so yeah. I guess it makes sense to kill enemies that you've killed, uh, that are way below you because you'll get just a big bonus for doing yeah. so. So I do notice we have diagonal movement. This is cool. The character sprites and the and the sprite sheet is very customized and different, which I really like. We do have some sort of smooth scrolling. Do you, do you, do you notice that smooth scrolling? Mm -hmm. Like there, yeah. it's yeah. not jag uh, jagged at all. So I'm gonna notice, I'm gonna call out all the things I noticed. We got a hook, probably for fishing. For fishing, yeah. Very cool. Simple map, it doesn't I let us... I wonder what pixel movement uh, he's using, or if it's a custom. I, I saw a green treasure chest back there, but I didn't see a way to get to it. I want to go back and check it out. Oh, yeah. Th this is you. There's a large enemy encampment to your south. We should take this moment to ensure we are ready for battle. Check your skills menu and get familiar with your party members. Spend JP to learn new skills in the skill menu. So, yeah, probably Yamplay is a skill learn system. Skills, learn skills, browse skills available, right click or escape brings up the main menu. Learning skills such as torch novice will increase your torch's range and brightness. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this up. Uh, skills, we'll look at our skills and learn skills. Okay, so this doesn't require much anything except for torch novice, which we're going to learn on Neurok, because why not? Yeah. And uh, that's, that's basically it. We don't have anything else. Wait, what is this? We can learn recover, but we've already learned that. Okay. All right, so we need this special item as well as JP to learn things. Uh, we do have SP mode, which is basically JP mode, which is Yanfly's job, uh, uh, not job point, sorry. It's, JP is throwing me off, but it's 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 uh, the skill, the TP mode. Mm -hmm. It's the TP mode plugin. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to go back and get that green treasure chest. I like how the treasure chests are kind of hidden. Ah, uh, we missed the green treasure chest, oh, so no. we're not allowed to go back. I also want to close this. I don't like that that reopens. But I don't like that. You should be able to go back and get it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. That's I remember okay. when I played um, Quintessence, the maker of To the Moon, uh -huh. there was a few mushrooms that were really high powered in a section of the map that you could never get back to, and that made me really, really sad. Because you get locked. Yeah. Like, I knew it was there, you but I couldn't get to it. You can't go back to, to it. get it. <laughs> so Nurox says, hold, and the sol soldier pops up. My shift should have ended an hour ago. I'm so going to write him up for this. This is our opportunity to sneak attack the enemy. The position in which we engage our enemies is crucial. We will receive full advantage if we sneak attack the enemies from behind. We only receive half advantage if we engage the enemy from the side. This also holds true for when the enemies engage us. So if we're sneaking, basically we're going to get um, some SP bonuses. So attacking at a different angle appears to make a difference on the combat, at least the beginning of the combat. 
And then we get some tips, soldiers are weak against lightning and blunt weapons, mages are weak against fire and sharp weapons. Always keep your enemy's strengths and weaknesses in mind during battle. Let's go. So yeah. that was an auto run to sneak attack on him. Okay. So let's take a look at the battle system. I did not select a story mode. What was mode. that? Was that the, um, that the sneak was the, attack the bonus. sneak attack, so that happens automatically. Yeah, that just happened. Interesting. We just hit them because we, we got the jump on them. So um, we're using some sort of CTV probably. Um, it could be a different battle system, I don't know. It could be customized even, as far as I know. But uh, lots of different skills. Let's take a look at them real quick. We've got basic elements, uh, and some of them I see some discrepancies in the convention. Cooldown equals three rounds, cooldown three rounds. You probably just want to pick one and go with the name with this uh, convention. So that cooldown equals three rounds is always imply, or yeah. cooldown three rounds. A cool Either way, it doesn't matter, but this discrepancy, how you have two different conventions, is, is uh, just not a good thing. So just pick one and go with it. Moving on. Okay, so we've got our elemental attacks. Um, fire Groot? What is this? Oh, the, okay, this is like an area of attack, like Fyra or something. Fyraga or something. Mm -hmm. So let's hit the Fire Groot. Final Fantasy Four. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are not Final Fantasy uh, oh, stuff. Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy Yeah, the okay. Rock, uh, yeah. Jaw, all those. Um, so here's some interesting skills from Wedge. Double strike, well, it's just like dual attack, whatever. Gut, gut one. Now let's see, what is gut one? That sounds gross. 85% <laughs> chance of bleeding plus damage. Oh god. It is 10% per, it is minus 10% HP. That's very powerful, especially if it works on bosses. I imagine most bosses would be immune to that sort of uh, status element. That is a, um, a really disgusting sounding status. Gut. Yeah, gut. <laughs> all right, so thunder on all of them. So he's and we'll try bash and uh, guts taking cool has a cooldown. General skills, physical taunt, special attack, and we have guard and item. We start with some items, some health potions, some medium health potions, magic potions, uh, restoration, and uh, like recovery stat recovery items. That's fine. We're gonna bash and we're going to just attack. I like this sprite. Uh, we're using the animated SV enemies. I can clearly see that button. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really fit in with the sprites. So you'd expect that the enemies would be more custom than this, but uh, again, the art is going to be revamped after the Kickstarter is finished. So take out the brain assault. Right. I, on the other hand, maybe a placeholder. I, on the other hand, disagree with that last statement. I think they match very well because here's what happens in a lot of RPGs. You have these very, very tiny, chibi, chibi style, looking yeah. style, and then you've got these ginormous. It matches better. It matches better. It does. It really does. Yeah. I think the battle sprites match with the animated SV enemy size of the sprites. I think so too. So yeah. it, it, it does, I think it looks good. I honestly do. But I will say that these are default assets yeah. on the left hand side, not the right hand Probably side. Probably just placeholder. They could, probably just placeholder. they could be placeholder sprites, but um, they are default as of now. All magic costs minus zero. Okay, so this is a, a limit gauge thing. So we can use spells without using the MP for a few rounds. Um, we might as well go ahead and use it. You know what, we're going to save that. Maybe it'll stack. I want to see if it lasts through the combat. So we're going to heal Biggs on this guy. He's going to attack. And let's do double strike, see if this is going to work out. We do have uh, a lot of action sequencing going on, especially with the camera movement, this dual yeah, attack. it's nice, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Again, default animations, but again, that's probably just a placeholder. Right. Yeah. Get on changing that immediately, because it's very easy to change animations. The animation editor in RPG Maker MV is superb. Better than other engines, by far. It is pretty nice. It is very nice. Editor in the engine, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. The only animation editor that's better in any engine that I've seen is probably Game Maker Studio 2, just because it lets you do frame by frame in a, in a dynamic way. You can draw and it does it. But that's beside the point. The animation editor in, inside of MV has a lot of like spleening, and uh, basically you can uh, batch, you can change all of them at the same time. It's really easy to change your animations in RPG Maker MV, and you should. I'm realizing something now. What's Biggs that? and Wedge. That's a Final, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI. Right. I, that just dawned on me. Right. <laughs> Q 
cute. I like it. Don't worry, enemies will never get the drop on us. I would never say never. You just gotta believe. If you increase your skills in sneak attack, enemies will receive more sneak attack damage and you will receive greater buffs in battle. Interesting. Walk into enemies to attack them, no buttons necessary, just make sure that they are positioned to your advantage and not the other way around. Sneak attack skills are passed. So it's like a skill that you learn over time and it becomes more and more useful over time. I th probably the damage that you deal that yeah, automatically that happens automatic damage. probably That's does neat. better. I like that. Don't forget to check the bodies for items. A save point appear, take this opportunity to save the game. <laughs> you know what that is right there? A save crystal. Default RP, <laughs> RTP. Absolutely. I just, I just had to bring it up because of uh, the rave game that we just did. It's kind of an inside joke. We got a weapon repair hammer legend. It's, well, it's, yeah, it is, but <laughs> I agree. But, like, this is in so many games, this yeah. save crystal. But again, it's probably just a placeholder. Right, please change that. Yeah. Don't use a save crystal. Everybody does that. Yeah, don't do that. Here we are, the Redrick Army Camp. What are they planning? I think I need to give you a different character. I need one that talks more. You're gonna be Wedge. Okay, I'll be Wedge. You're gonna be this kid, Wedge. There's so many of them! And Uridin. Plans have changed. Head back for the moment. So you're the old guy and the young kid. <laughs> the Redrick army has delivered a crate to the south of your position. Sneak past the Redrick camp and head towards the crate. If we must engage the enemy, sneak attack the scouts only. The scouts are the soldiers on patrol with the lanterns. As long as we do not get spotted, we should be fine. Wait, don't. Use the conjure to, or what's it called? Do not sounds like copy. Don't. Don't. Yeah, apostrophe T. Yeah. I say we eliminate the scouts and make it easier to sneak by. Do not attack the soldiers by the campfires. They will be automatically alerted when a fellow soldier is attacked. Oh, that's interesting. Not if they are the only ones at the campfire. Being spotted can mean the difference between life and death. Let's go. Okay. All right. Conjugation. Yeah. Okay. It's a minor thing, but I like that you pointed it out. Point out everything you think of like that. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I what didn't happened even there? See what happened? I was like, ooh, treasure chest. Nope. <laughs> we got, we got the, they got the jump on us. That, yeah. I mean, if you can learn to avoid it in the future, great. But if that's like uh, something you're gonna run into throughout the entire game, you may want to slow that down a little bit. Yeah, that was hell of that. <laughs> the default spark animation. Please get rid of all of these default animations. You're killing me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Default font so many good things with this game. So many good things. With really? This game. Yes. Absolutely. Change the animations immediately. Immediately. <laughs> what are these gauges here? I'm sorry, I haven't understood. This is the Yanfly plugin. Um, she's talking about this stuff. This is a Yanfly plugin's uh, party skill gauge. Oh. So, like, you know how when we like play Final break? Fantasy XIV? Yeah. You know yeah. how we play Final Fantasy XIV? Like, we'll have a little bar in the top left, and it fills up as the whole party. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's basically what it is. Like, it adds to it depending on what you select it to. You can customize it, obviously. But um, it seems like in this game, as you take damage, it goes up. Nice. And so, so one, one party member can use it for a special attack. Right, right, right. Like, for example, like right here, special attack. You see how it says one of these? So oh. when this bar gets passed, I think it's up to three on this thing. If we get this to three points, then we'll have three moves, or we'll be able to do a move that costs three. Right. But if we get it past point one, uh, we'll be able to do special attack. And I was testing to see if it would re retain what we had already earned, mm -hmm. and it does not. Okay. So you might as well use the special uh, right. uh, party limit gauge in the combat. We're going to talk so with it. It's only in battle accumulation, not game accumulation. Right, right. It's per battle. Okay. Also, taunt, I just know this is an instant with cooldown. So we're gonna... Um, I didn't need to do double taunt. It's interesting that they both have taunt. Probably better off giving one person taunt. Yeah. And making one person have higher defense, magic defense, so that it makes it... Yeah, make one guy the tank and two DPS in one player type of situation. It's, it's statistically better. Yeah. More balanced. These battles don't seem imbalanced anyway, so I mean, it's not like you have to heal disproportionately or like it's it's too difficult to, to, to defeat one regular battle. 
I want to say I do like how we can use Limitless Magic as an instant. So we use our Party Limit Gauge to let us cast Heal. Because we're out of MP, but we need to heal Biggs. So we use... I should have put the DOT on a different character, but it's fine. That was the damage over time Interesting. that happened. Interesting. I hate when enemies heal. Honestly, it doesn't How really... How is he left at one hit point? <laughs> could that. be could be luck. Could be I luck. guess. Or he could uh, have some sort of like that final drives me nuts. It really does. <laughs> it's annoying. I think it's just a circumstance. Yeah. If the miss rate is too high too, it just seems like your party sucks. That's just my opinion, but in the games I've played, the miss rate is often too high. Luckily, we do enough damage, they don't have very many uh, yeah. HP, but I don't like the idea of giving a lot of healers, putting a lot of healers in the group of the enemy groups. Because you make the, the battle unnecessarily long. Unnecessarily long. Just like that sentence. It was necessarily long. Yes, we got a bludgeoning droplet. Wow. I don't know what those Wait. Mean. Wait. Whoa, what is happening? Retreat! Well, that didn't go as planned. Remember, we must remain hidden okay, or sneak attack. Okay, only the lantern people. We've been caught one time. One time. <laughs> Just saying, the total number of enemy squads eliminated one. Sneak attack, we will walk into scouts. We're not looking. Pull it together, guys. My ankle hurt. Wait, okay. My ankle hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're not gonna walk over there and check the chest. We're no, gonna we're not. We're gonna stay out of his LOS. The people with the lanterns we need to take out, remember? Is that what it is? Yes. They said something about, those are the scouts. You take out the scouts. How about I just, you know, solid snake my way through here? Do it. Totally. Keep on moving, guy. I could be wrong. I, it may be the opposite. It may be like, don't take out the, scu the scouts, but I, I, I think it is. That helps. Oh god, are they gonna be surrounding me now? Is it like game over type maybe, thing? Maybe, yeah. Where we have to like run and start from the beginning again? Maybe. There's uh, only one guy, so it might not be though. It might be take out the scouts. We'll find out at the end of this battle. Right. Ooh, and here it is. Okay. I'm curious. I'm curious. We're gonna be surrounded by 25 guys. No way, man. Take out the guys. scouts. 25 <laughs> guys, I told you. Wow. <laughs> so maybe it's the opposite. You're not supposed to take out the scouts. Have you saved? I have saved. Okay. Matter of fact, in the demo, it lets us save anywhere. Nice. There's two versions of this game, guys. It's gonna be one that's $9.99, one that's $12.99. The $12.99 is gonna have some sort of bonus that goes to let you save anywhere, and as well as other things. Gosh, I'm gonna see if we can run. Here's what I wonder. But it if lets you save anywhere on the Every time it goes to donation to um it does let you have a donation to some charity mm -hmm. to help people get college grants or something like that. But so there's there's some thing I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I read somewhere on the website that um we're not allowed this dude that there's two versions of the game. There's a $10 and a $13 version. Okay. Or maybe it's a $12, $9 and a $12 version. Something. I think it's some 10. Some of it goes to charity. Some of it goes to charity. If you chose, if you choose the higher version, you get more, but the developer's not making more on that. It's just you choosing to donate to the charity of choice. So the, there is some sort of charity to this game. I was thinking that each one of these scouts that you kill, are they permanently removed? I hope so, because it could, you know, give you some incentive. Uh, or make it easier in the future. Yeah. It does keep track of it in a variable. I know this has yeah. been caught so many number of times, and etc. etc. I can see why they would take the battle system out and you know, offer. I find this interesting too that each time uh, a party member is attacked, the rest fade out of view. So you only see the party member that is engaging with the enemy at the time. That's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that before. Anymore. That's, yeah, that's uh, action sequencing. A action sequencing. It's the plugin that does like the... The camera movement okay. and the fading right. movement of the out. Yep, it's Yanfly, uh, YDP underscore... Um, I have done some action sequencing, but I haven't gotten this far. Right, there's three action sequencing packs. 
part one is uh, a lot of fundamental stuff. Part uh, and the second part is um, I think it's animations and, and other things that are fundamental. They're all fundamental. Yeah. The third one is camera movement. Camera movement. Right. Yeah. Right. Basically, you want to get all three of them if you're going to add them. Mm -hmm. Action sequence pack one, two, three. That's what I did when I downloaded it. I just downloaded all three. I put them in too. No point in just going for part of the package. Might as well get the whole thing. If you're interested in learning some uh, action sequencing, I have some free ones, about ten of them, that you can use as templates to get started. As just as an example, something to look at on DriftwithGaming.com if you want to look at that. Let's just do some basic attacks on it. You can just copy paste. Go to the website, copy paste them to your to your game. You put them in the note box of your skills, and if you have the plugins, you will need the battle system plugin as well. So we have to start this thing over and over and we'll over. We'll be able to see now, though. Is the scout that you fought gone? It is. Is it's he gone? Oh, yeah. he's dead, right? Yeah. So each scout that you defeat, you like open up your exploration possibilities you can right get more it becomes easier with right. each try because of the fact that you're eliminating some of the people that can catch you you see this guy was here he caught me at the very end and he's now he's knocked out right. i really appreciate that that's great yeah. this road loads, uh, leads to nowhere no so way. that's not where we're supposed to go maybe it's supposed to add to the frustration of navigation to this map probably i don't like how this opens up constantly like final fantasy 14. <laughs> Please keep in mind that this is the first version of blah blah blah. This is mainly a test to see how the player likes the new UI. Feel free to provide feedback. Um, version 2 is already being created. Okay, so this is part of the GUI graphical user interface. One thing I will say is, I don't like that it pops up uh, on every screen. 188 gold. I wonder if that's a variable. It's, uh, randomized? Yeah, randomized or based on a variable, maybe your level. Mm -hmm. Level one. It was a long save. It's like, zing. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of scouts here. Make your way up the cliffs. Be on the lookout for patrols. Make your way up those stairs. The exit should lead to the area above the crate. The exit south should lead you to the area above the crate. The exit south. I said that, didn't I? Nope. <laughs> Fine. Let's head back for a moment. <laughs> We've been caught three times. Stay vigilant. Remember, do not engage the enemies by the crate. We need to get close enough to hear what they are saying. <laughs> okay. One thing I will, uh, another thing I want to talk about is the, the, the RTP that is used for the treasure chests. Don't use the red boxes. Hella overused. Yeah. Customize the treasure chest. <laughs> They're gonna make it. I know you've got the green, you've got the red. Customize the treasure chest a little bit more. The citrine shards. What do those do? Interesting. Food, weapon, armor, attach, uh, crafting. Okay, it's crafting items. Combine a crafting station. Okay. Can we craft anywhere here? No, 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 we cannot. That's probably something you do in the second option. Remember when you had the pictures to choose from if you're going to just do gameplay or you're going to do homesteading? Crafting is probably part of the second second option. No, it just said... Oh, okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no! <laughs> they get really bad. They go like super mode. They do. Okay. At least you only have to fight one at a time. You don't have to try and fight this whole horde that ends up swarming around you. Mm -hmm. Bash, try DOT on him. Gut one! We're just gonna basic attack. I mean, they survive with one HP! <laughs> Why? We're still level one, we're about yeah. to hit level two. We've done it seems four to take a long time to level up. From level one, level one should go should go fast maybe yes. level two should go fast level three and then as you get higher it should go a little slower it seems to take a long time to level up from one you should play dungeons anti-climactic you should uh play dungeons and dragons it takes forever to level up yeah i played D, &D when it was on a, a pad and paper 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Way <laughs> back when. Unless you have a very generous DA, you're gonna be leveling. You're gonna spend a lot of time leveling. <laughs> There's no escape. Oh. <laughs> Hey, at least it's, it, it isn't random encounters. At least. It's better than random encounters. Absolutely. We do have items. Let's try to use some items. Let's see the, the maybe if we have different animations on the items. Let's use uh, a medium magic water on Nurok. He's our healer. We're gonna need him to heal eventually, pretty soon. Do a double strike. Default animations. You gotta fix those. That's the big, the big no-no in this game right now. Is all sound of the effects. default animations. And, you know, well, it goes hand in hand. Yeah, the sound effects. I, I, I am. I love a game with some unique, wonderful, pleasing sound effects. Gotta get some good sound effects in here. That would be nice. That would be a nice addition. Um, let's do... Uh, with, let's look at the thunder attack on that guy. And then attack regular in case the thunder doesn't kill him. Physical taunt. We don't need a taunt. We just need to kill. Kill. Bang. Boom. Lots of damage on the spells. The spells do lots of damage. I noticed that. Magic does a lot of damage. Lightning is, seems to be the weak against lightning. I wonder if there are any girls in this game. All guys so far, huh? Yeah. Let's do men. Because Wedge is getting beat up. He is. Oh, Wedge. He's my character. Bang. Some things don't do very much damage at all. That or there's crazy variants. Yeah. A lot of crazy variants. Retreat! Why do we have to retreat if we kill them? It you doesn't know, make sense to me. Because you're swarmed by the other scouts. But we're not though. Not that and not in that instance. There's one scout in the forest. We encounter one scout. We dis we uh we take out the one scout. There's yeah. nobody why do we have to run away? Yeah, I get that. He's not calling another scout. The retreat mechanic works when you're in a like a, an encampment area. Right. But like in the forest, I don't know make sense to send you back. It just seems like redundancy. I agree. Now, we're not supposed to engage the scouts uh, that are speaking with each other. We're supposed to o overhear things, aren't we? There's a... Yeah. We're told to head south, but, you know, I want to see what's over here. <laughs> Treasure chest. Treasure chest. A novice bait, probably for the fishing system. Yeah. I like the idea of not, fishing How about systems. that hole in the, in, the, in the cave? I think it's nothing. <laughs> Teleportation droplet, what? Woohoo! Alright, There's okay. another hole. There's another hole. <laughs> Gold in the hole. Hell yeah, check the holes, baby. We're checking all the holes now. <laughs> check those <laughs> holes. <laughs> okay, the oh. camp is straight ahead. Let's take a closer look at what they're hiding. Do you find it strange that the general is not here for the reveal? Don't think too much. Just follow orders. Okay. They're not paid to think. Right. That should do it. Boom! Wow. Uh, okay. All right. So they blew a hole in the mountain. What just happened? What is that? Whoa. It's an Esper. It can't be. Golem. Step. Step okay. back. We have this. We can handle this. Get back. Who are they talking to? So lots of default music. We can handle this, sir. Wait, that, that doesn't make sense to me, though. They're all telling each other to step back and each one can handle it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Yeah. They're all fighters. It's you. It's you. Oh, it's me. You just have to believe. Okay, let's believe. I like the music. We're going to talk with the middle guy. Did I heal the middle guy? The little guy needs some healing. Yeah, he needs some loving. Please We're gonna love. gut this golem. Gut. What? Oh, I'm so gross. Mind wise, we got hit for 618. Wow. And we hit him for one. Looks like we're supposed to lose this fight. Yeah, you're not gonna believe your way out of this no, fight. No, we ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Nope. You think you cannot. It's not gonna happen. Not at one damage. Nope. We took three injuries. He's like a, a softened. 
uh, technique or something like that. But. Special attack! We're gonna use our point to super energy beam. Yeah, I mean, come on. 9999. Yeah. Wow, we'll okay. This I like the cap on the point. You didn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, that God, he died. <laughs> Big! No, Big died. Oh, shoot. Whoa! I like the sequencing here. Big! Wedge. No, our Final Fantasy character. <laughs> so the rumors are true. Yes, the Red Republic must be creating energy golems as weapons of war. We have to get back to the village. I really hope the Red Republic has not caught wind of Shinta, Shinata, so we are going to have to move our little operation. Oh no, the golem's looking around, but we are out of here. Pigs and wedge. Hey, nobody got that bad. destined to die. They were destined to die. <laughs> yep. Uradin teleported Narok to safety the next day. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I like the tree. Shinata's tree. I do like the tile set and stuff. It's awesome. I mean, the, the parallax uh, background is default, but it's okay. Upon the green expanse of softly rolling hills sat Shinata, sunbathing by her favorite tree. The wind slowly rustled her long hair as she sat peacefully on the grass with the sun shining warmly upon her beautiful caramel skin. Ooh. Very descriptive. Yeah. That was a good writing. The council has really been acting strange lately. Normally, I'd be training all day. It's nice to finally have a little break. Ugh, what is that smell? Jeez? Mm. A gelatinous, sweaty blob of flesh made its way towards Shinata. Uh -oh. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this from playing it the first time, but oh, it looks way different. That's a great job. Great job. Up the hill came Gordo. He is the son of one of the village's councilmen. His fat belly shook with every step he took, and he could not help but display his shameless, adoring smile. I've heard this music before. Uh -huh. Oh, this is, um, wireless? This is like a, oh uh, wait, this is a Kanye song, isn't it? I don't know. It is. Maybe. It is. But if it's a MIDI version, you can get around the copyright thing. If it's changed enough, you can't. <laughs> It's got to be a mini okay, version of it. This guy's supposed to be despicable. Perfect music choice. Yes. <laughs> All right. What do you want? Shinata sighed as she tried to breathe through her mouth <laughs> in fear of catching a whiff of the fat kid upwind. I just wanted to see how you're doing. Wow, you look as good as a cinnamon bud. <laughs> Gordo has a weird mixture of hunger <laughs> oh and love God. in his eyes. Oh, this is great. <laughs> you want me to throw up? Honey <sighs> bun, I actually came here because I think you would be really interested in what the councilmen are saying. What do you mean? Shinata fought the urge to punch Gordo in the gut for referring to her as a sugary treat. <laughs> well, just come and listen in. I know of a spot where we can eavesdrop on what they're saying. Normally, she would never be caught dead in Gordo's massive shadow, <laughs> but curiosity got the best of her. The council has been acting strangely lately. Bravo. I love the writing so far. Good job. I, I remember it. I, yes. I remember it. Okay. Let's go. Gordo's ecstatic. And wipe the drool off your lips! Uh, uh, yeah, hey, come and find me behind the council hall. Gordo jumped in the air. It was a pitiful jump. Not even an inch <laughs> off the ground, but... But by the gods, it was the highest he could manage. <laughs> he quickly spun around and started wobbling back in the direction of the village with an extra pep in his step. Shinata couldn't help but smile as she watched Gordo waddle back in the direction of the village, chest puffed up into the air. Why am I so mean to Gordo? Jin is rubbing off on me. I'll try to be nicer from now on. You unlock the ability to pass time. Merely click on the sundial above by the time and date. To wait and pass time, enter the time in minutes. Max is 720 <clears throat> minutes, which is 12 hours. Okay. So we can pass time if needed. There's a day and night system, apparently. Some sort of time system going on. We get some more crafting items here. We received A crystal shards. Yeah, A plural thing. Right. <laughs> Ah, oh, the good old training yard. It's convenient to train right in front of your own backyard. It's nice having Shin around. He can suck the fun out of any situation. I hope Shin is not skulking about the house bothering Mom. I should go check on Mom inside the house. 
Chinatas Village discovered. Okay, so let's run around. Alert! You now have a mini map. That's cool. Notice the zoom in plus and zoom out minus have a uh, and opacity zero buttons. Nice. Okay, this is your backyard. Go inside and say hi to mom. Click. Okay, I take it back. I do like this popping up. Yeah. Because it is letting me know of things that are not immediately par apparent. That so is the GUI cool. is very nice. That is One cool. thing you could consider is clicking on it again will retoggle the last thing in case you accidentally click on it or something. Receive a pickaxe, fishing pole, novice bait, and hook. Wow. Right. Some more fishing stuff. Maybe we can enter into the back of the house or something. Nothing here. The tile set keeps getting better. I remember this this before. It was it was a lot of default. World map. We are here. I like the show picturing. That's great. Small health potion. The treasure chests need to be changed. Into the numbers for the lock. One. Nope. No point in trying to guess. Right. On the on the go recipe book was found. Now you can make a meal from anywhere. No cooking station necessary. Okay. Beer and liquor, yuck. Received ten wheat, five beef, five chicken. But they're raw, so we'll have to cook them. Two hundred gold. Interesting how, how the lid was taken off when she found that there. That was cool. I have the hiccups. Hold on, hold on. I want to write that down. Sorry. Okay. A bucket of water. Aww. I love my gizmo. Don't worry about gizmo. Shin has a crazy look in his eyes lately. Attack mode enables the ability to attack certain NPCs. Yes, even pets, sicko. Wow. That's kind of weird. We found ten aluminum ore. Found Shin's skill books. Found an iron chain dagger. Shin can craft some weapons out of the aluminum ore. Or perhaps we can make some armor. Who's Shin? The cool. other guy. I'm going to remember to give the iron chain dagger to Shin when I see him. It's another character. There's there's Gordo, there's Shin, and there's mm. Shinada. Shin. Shinada. Shinada. Okay. But we're getting quite uh, equipped from these these treasure chests. They have a lot. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. We Eight got a lot things, of stuff. Yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 15 Plus things. some gold. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just as promised. So it's a gift from her mother. New weapons and armor to equip. I also get a few gems. Thank you, Mom. Should I slot the gems in my new armor or weapon? So that's like material probably. Probably. Let's, yeah. let's check that out. Optimize. It just went in. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, if we go to equip, are we able to select? No. Okay. So we'll put that on. We'll probably have to go to items and then go to weapons and then see what we're wearing and then elements. Yeah. Okay. So uh, max HP. Yeah. HP is always good. Let's go ahead and press... Um, Items, armor. Can we slot anything into armor? Gems, yeah, let's do 10 extra defense on that. Uh, she's wearing light armor, orb, gem, yep, agility, defense. Okay, great. Nice. Save it. Shin is probably Shinada, I'm assuming. Right. We haven't met Shinada yet, have we? That's Shinada. The girl? Yes. Why is she talking about Shin? It's probably messaging the, the player. Oh, okay, so kind of third person? Uh, it's the way I've been reading it, it's like third person. Yeah, yeah, it's like Shin's talking, but she's talking about herself. herself? The Shin can do this and that, yeah, and the Shin... Okay, I was confused for a minute It is though. confusing. I was genuinely confused. <laughs> we got teleportation, teleportation shards and gems. Uh, P.S. Do not use a teleportation shard to teleport when you only discover Shin's village, otherwise you'll waste it probably. Nice crystal. You can also add a condition to stop them from doing that unless they've unlocked more than one place. Yeah. Just have them grayed out. Mm -hmm. This is the plant mom gave me. I love it. Unless there's another character called Shin. I, I originally thought there was a third character. It is confusing. It's definitely confusing. If, if there is Shin and Shinada... There's... It would work. Right, but also that's weird. Yeah. Why do they have the same name? Like, can you can think of a creative, more creative name than Shin and Shinada? And we haven't been introduced to Shin yet. And right. She's referring to Shin. Yeah. Who Shin is. And... Right. So you're getting some confusion here that doesn't need yeah. to be there. 
Gordo wants me to meet him behind the council hall, not below it. I have to go up the stairs and around the back. Hello, Shinada. How is training coming along? <laughs> <laughs> Bark. You got lettuce? Bark. <laughs> Drinking water. <laughs> Do you wish to cook one wood or one greater wood? Uh, no, because we don't have the wood. Got some drinking water, nice. lots of interactables, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. The mapping's good. Perception novice, a personal stash will be filled at night. Break in at night, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. if you want to loot the treasure. Wow. There's stuff all over the place, this is cool. Wow, that's like uh, morally questionable right there. <laughs> You're specifically breaking in to take other people's things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, it's locked, novice. It doesn't seem like anyone in the party has the skills necessary to pick the lock. So there's lock picking, there's yeah. a school. Fertilizer. It, this seems to take it a step above the whole just looting people's houses. You have to actually make a choice to actually loot their house. Uh huh. That's interesting. You gotta read her. Hello? How are you? My sheep are weird. It's just like they're there in their own world or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bah, bah. bah. I guess I don't need to make the noise when they do it themselves. Yeah, you I do. just wanted you do. to. You have to. I just wanted to. We already read that. Yeah. You totally have to. It's necessary. Can you spare one gold coin so that I may eat? Here, take a coin. Yeah. Quest log, side quest beggars. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Do some grapes. There are lots of interactables. Gordo, my little poopykins is not here at the moment. He said something about Council Hall. I just had to read her, His sorry. poopykins. So much food. Well-balanced meal. Is that cheese? Must be Gordo's plate. Uh, cheese. Looks yeah. yummy. Can you play this? Let's play the piano. It appears that no one in your party knows how to play piano. Dun, 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 dun. Learn skills, check skills, learn piano, piano. Don't keep me in suspense, honey! <laughs> wait, 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 can we learn to play piano? Learn skills, play piano, where's piano? 2,000 JP, we have to, okay, you know what? Do it. We gotta learn to play piano. Yeah. That's what we're spending our 2,000 points on. Yep. We need to learn how to play piano. It's obviously implied. <laughs> Don't have a job, diva. You made everyone happy, plus one. No music? That was lovely! Yeah, a little bit of music with All Oh, right. Morale went up. I think morale went up. Nice! Ah, so it had some sort of... Little Days 2, RPG Days 2, Homestead Days 0. What are Homestead Days? Something about crafting, I bet. Or planting. Mm -hmm. Wow! You just, like, tore into those crates! <laughs> Look like... at what happened! <laughs> <laughs> smash, smash! Give me the lettuce! <laughs> Like you had a hammer on you, you're just smashing them apart. F your crates! <laughs> Maybe make it a little less drastic when somebody empties a crate. <laughs> okay, we don't have the skill to pick to lock uh, pick lock that. Pick that lock. You should okay, wow, a full set of iron armor? I shouldn't take it. Wow, a full set of aluminum armor? I shouldn't take it. It's locked. Hmm, it's locked. Doesn't seem like anyone in our party. Got some chicken. We received chicken or a shovel. And we broke the barrel and broke another barrel. Got and some we are gold, destructive. Smelling salts, Damn. more gold. Damn. Aluminum knives. We are destructive individuals. We are very angry. We're like, we don't even loot people. We, like, and break their stuff, too. <laughs> we go a step beyond just looting. <laughs> We're just smashing it. We premeditate times to, them to, 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 to steal their stuff when they're sleeping. This is interesting. Wow. Okay, this has it's got to be a placeholder. This is Gordo's. <laughs> but look, no, this is perfect. This, okay. even, this needs okay. to be a final version. Because all right, all right. This is Gordo's map, right? Right, right. He's like, food's here. He loves food. Yeah. And then a big heart, Shinada's here. He Shinada's out. He more yes. than food. Ew. Ew. And then, and then I am here. Yeah. Shinada's Gross. house. What's wrong with his house? Wait, go back. Is okay. there a hole in his roof? No, he's like, oh, I'm okay. here at this spot. Okay. This, is, this I see. is where I'm at. I see. That's very cool. See, this is weird, though. Like, okay, it's Shinada talking. 
But Shinada's saying house? Shinada's house, like yeah, when you talk say to your, my house. Yeah, like yeah. when you talk to yourself, when you talk like about yourself, do you say like, "Oh, this is my house," or do this you say, "Michael's house"? This is Michael's house. This is <laughs> T's house. You know, like it's really weird when yeah. you refer to yourself like that. Ugly plant. Unless she's a narcissist, is she going to turn out to be a narcissist? In she's which case, dead. speaking in the third person may not be completely inappropriate. And the third person usually means you would say the. You would include the keyword the. Yeah. This is the something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like anyone in the party has a skill necessary to pick a lock. There's lots of those. We got an apple, apple here. Pick up that chicken, baby. We do have a lock pick, but maybe we just don't have the skills right now. You need a chicken in your life. Buck, 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 Personal stash, we have to We have come to back. sneak in at night and steal it after right. breaking their barrels and their crates. It's because only, we're good people. It's only an hour and a half away. We could <laughs> we could use the weight and come to I remember we, we were able to loot all of these, but then they spoiled on me in my inventory or something like that. So I'm Weird. Not, Yeah, yeah, like you're you're able to, to loot these and craft them and stuff. Oh, help yourself with anything you like, Shinada. Collect my chicken. The more of my babies that you return, the greater of the rewards. So we got. Oh, now he speeds up. How come he didn't speed up before? Wow. Yo, yo, chicken, chill the f out. <laughs> Ch chill. Get that chicken. Come here, Get chicken. Him. Get the chicken. Chicken. Get him. Oh, come on. No. No, not lock. the treasure chest. Get the chicken. I I pressed it on the chicken. Get the chicken. You got chicken. Collect the chicken. You gotta go collect some oh, more chicken. This is not now. grandma's chicken. Why is this in grandma's house? Don't look at me. I don't know where that chicken came from. It must be one of those hussies that you hear about. <laughs> so the writing is don't pretty look good. Don't look at grandma. No, the writing is pretty good. You got a tent. <laughs> Another treasure chest here. But it's locked. Some are not locked. Some are locked. Some are different. The, the treasure chest, you know what? You need to come up with some convention that that's not default uh, RTP for the chests. Mm -hmm. You can know, then you'll know which ones are locked, and you can come back with your thief and get them later. Yep. You, you know exactly how to find them. Well, here's Ooh, Kiki. I like this boss. Yeah. You want me to read cool. Kiki? Sure. This, isn't my mutant chicken amazing? He is the product of creative crossbreeding. If only I had my own homestead, I could further experiment. I would evolve and crossbreed all kinds of livestock. I hear there may be potential sight. There may be a potential site for a homestead far east of here. I should check it out soon. Ask her to join us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I have to take care of my mutant chicken. Check back with me later. Okay. Water for Kiki's. Mutant chicken? I'm just getting started. I'm going to create an army of them. Even better, I'm going to try to create a dragon chicken. Cool. I just need to find me a dragon to mate with my chicken. This is where I walk away. <laughs> oh no, I'm trapped! She can't! She's I'm trapped. trapped by the chicken! Chicken! Let her out! Let her out! Mutant chicken! Oh, Move! Duck, duck. They're both trapping Did me. Did he say duck, duck? He said buck, buck. Wait. Oh, oh, buck, buck. buck, buck. Okay. But he's trapping me! She can't get out. The no. mutant chicken is holding her hostage. Why you do this? Okay, now you can get out. There we go. Okay. Escape while you still still can. Yes. Get that chicken. Give her a chicken. Give her a chicken. Give her a chicken. Come here, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Collect it. You got the chicken. You have one chicken. Okay. Where's the other chicken? Over Let's go get grandma's chicken. Chicken, 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 I don't know. There's somebody hiding Honestly, behind the tree. Honestly, I want to move there. on. I want to move on. I'm, t I'm not about this chicken catching life. Come here, chicken. Yeah, you are. Come here, chicken. Chicken. Yeah, you chicken. are. Don't chicken. lie. Chicken. Chicken. You want to catch chicken. chickens. Come here, chicken. 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 Get chicken. that chicken. chicken. Collect it. Yeah. Nope, I ain't about this chicken. <laughs> you know what? It ain't worth my time. I should go check on Gordo. He's behind the council hall. Now I can go back to the other thing. Just let me read that. Oh, sorry. I was going. I got excited. <laughs> catch that chicken. Catch it! I don't care about this chicken. Catch the chicken. I'm not even trying to catch it. You gotta catch the chicken. I'm not even gonna try to catch it. <laughs> you have to catch the chicken. Come here, chicken! Jesus! <laughs> Come here! Just, just... Get that chicken! 
<laughs> this this is not what I'm signed up for. Oh, oh you almost had it. But it doesn't read. You I'm smashing the inner button. You almost had it. You I'm almost smashing had it. the inner oh, 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 come on. No, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Trying no. to catch chicken. Fisherman, work on your fishing skills. Just, you know, fishing and treasure require different uh, lures oh, to catch. No. Fish require bait, whereas treasure, you need hooks. Go and address the fishing. Actually, you know what? How about a little test? Can you catch a fish? A novice raw, eight pounds or greater. If you do, I'll give you a reward. Okay, we got a quest for okay, talking. Great, but chicken. I just need this fast yeah. chicken. Oh, oh. He was come on, come on, chicken! chicken. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. this quest at yeah. all. This is not fun trying to chase this darn chicken. What are you talking about? It's so much fun. No, it's not. Yeah, it's so much fun. This chicken catching <laughs> stuff. Oh, stuff. you got it! Woo! But none of them are grandma's chicken. I got one that was grandma's chicken. Right? That sucks. Is that is just one that's is grandma? Oh, you got another okay, grandma's two, chicken. Okay, two grandma chickens. She said your reward would be better the more chickens you got. Right. So maybe you get like some awesome armor that helps you early on in the game. Why does grandma wink, have awesome wink, armor? Hint, hint. I don't know. You gotta get up there. No. Right up there. No. Yep. Read yep. your lines. Yeah, it says Gordo wants me to meet him behind the council hall, not below it. I have to go up the stairs and around the back. Right there. But there's a rock right there, so you gotta go the other way. Okay. <laughs> you did go. it! Ah, there you are. Come take a closer look. Janata moved in a closer, in a little closer, and took a peek inside. The councilmen are discussing their plans of attack and defense in the wake of the news that a small rhetoric army brigade is drawing dangerously close to the village. A small one. Just a small one. Do you think they know we're here? Shh! If the Republic, Redrick Republic should discover our location, we Rob must Rob commence Rob. operations to relocate Shanada. Time is running out. We need to tap into Shanada's true potential. We need results now! We need to push her harder! She's old enough to handle more rigorous training! <laughs> Are you sure? The last time this idea came up, Shanada was nearly killed. Reports suggest that Jin start start rapidly coming into their powers at their at goodness me. <laughs> you have to cut this. No. I would read it. Okay. Reports suggest that Jin start rapidly coming into their powers at their <laughs> After they have hit puberty. Wait, 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 wait. Slow wait. down. I've got this. Okay. I gotta make them sound like an a-hole. Okay. What is it? Um Reports suggest that Jin start rapidly coming into their powers after they have hit puberty. I must admit the last time we got a little ahead of ourselves, but now is the time considering her age and the current circumstances. All right. What <laughs> about Shin? Circumstances. All right. What about Shin? What about him? His duties remain the same. He is Shinata's personal bodyguard. There is another person named Shin. Yeah, it's his dad. We must ensure that Shinada is ready for battle. There is darkness within Shin. The dark side you can see deep in his eyes. There is no telling what he would do. I'm afraid he's a liability that we simply cannot afford to have around Shinada. How are you so sure? He may be rough around the edges, but there is greatness within him. Rough around the edges? He may be a little extreme. However, he takes his training and duties seriously. He is a valuable asset in her protection. He is the most gifted fighter I've ever seen. He's worthless. The most powerful beings in the realms will one day be no match for Jin. It's inevitable. Until that day comes, we will need to protect Shinada, and Shin is fully capable of seeing it through. Shinada strained to hear what they are saying. Gordo is distracting as he sweated, breathed, and stank <laughs> profusely. <laughs> Shin? Shin? A waste of time? And what did they say about Shin having a dark side? Um, something, 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 dark side! You are so useless! Go be fat somewhere else! Ah! <laughs> Gordo leaned in. <laughs> you smell so good. Oh god. Shin out of smells amazing. Fat ass! <laughs> Shinata kicked Gordo in the sack. The kick ended with a clank. Oh, he was prepared. <laughs> Armored jockstrap, baby. There's an old saying in my house. I know it's in your house. Probably in my house that says, 
Fool me once. Shame on. Shame on you. Oh my. Fool me. I can't get fooled again. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry. The second. But I love. I love that. The second kick crushed his metal jock strap <laughs> and his family jewels. Gordo's eyes nearly popped out of his head as he tumbled off the side of the ground below. <laughs> he farted as he landed. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. My throat. You need water? <clears throat> Ready? <clears throat> yep. What was that? It sounded like a sack of potatoes <laughs> hitting the ground. Shania, come here. He knew. Yep, he knew. Shania, we haven't been receiving the results we're expecting. Your results are stagnant at best. To remedy this, we are allowing you access to the village mines to the northeast. Your task is to light the braziers on the first floor of the mine. You will also need to collect a wild root and a wild mushroom so that you can create a small health potion. To create the small health potion at an alchemy station, you must learn the novice alchemy skill in the skills menu. But first, you need the alchemy novice and the alchemy recipe book novice. You can find them in the village or in the item shop. If you use up all the resources in the village, fret not. There are other ways to gather the necessary materials for crafting. You may need some help in the mine, so feel free to seek help from others. Perhaps this will facilitate your transformation from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Remember, Shinada, you and Shin have been trained to protect the village from those who seek to destroy our way of life. Enemies are lurking in the shadows, and they will soon be upon us. You will need to be ready, so leave now and come back a warrior. I will also accompany you to ensure your safety and well-being. Report back to me when you have completed your mission. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy. Okay, I just want to say, it seems kind of overcomplicated that you have to gain skill points and you have to find two different books to learn a skill. One book, maybe, with the skill points, but three things? After you stack all the skills on top of it, it seems like it may get a little overcomplicated over time. Right. With all the different skills you can learn, if that's the system that you use with each one, it may be just a little too much. Just my opinion. Right. I understand the need to require a skill book. Yeah. Because if, you, um, if you're trying to stop the player from unlocking all the skills and grinding in one area and mm -hmm. just getting a bunch of JP and grinding in, in one area, so by having more requirements you're kind of gating them in a certain direction yeah so that they can't just unlock everything when they're not supposed to have it and overcomplicate it right if it's so. just one skill point or one skill book to open up a certain like section or skill branch and then you need a skill book for each section of the branch but if you need two for each one I think it's a bit of overkill We'll see how the system works. I don't know how, how, system I don't know how we, it need goes. To look, we need to look yeah. further into the system. It's just yeah. my first thought when I read that. That was my first thought. Was right. really, really, I need three things to, to do this one skill, this beginner skill? Right. It may be just like you need these two items and then yeah. the skill book and then the JP to learn the skill. Right. I guess we'll see. I just wanted to add, I, I, I just wanted to share my first impressions on that. I can actually leave the village now? Absolutely. This is the happiest day of my life! I like all the artwork. Yeah, it's very cute. Do not forget, now that you are allowed to out of the village, there are quests available to you. Consider this a part of your training, so go ahead, ask around the village for additional requests. Maybe I should check on Gordo first, to make sure he's not badly hurt. I recommend first finding Shin by the village entrance. He may be waiting outside. Next, why not speak to the Warriors of Light within Council Hall? Just remember, there are three main factions in this area. The Warriors of Light, the Werewolves, and Vampires. Choose wisely, your decision is yours. 
We got main quest, where's the light, and werewolf quest. Alchemy cool. skill has been unlocked. The alchemy skill is now available to learn. Extra skills have been unlocked. This is perception, persuasion, pickpocketing, talk to animals. Okay. This is very D&D-esque. So this is one of, the three, one of the three requirements that I was mentioning before. It's unlocked now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Additional killer gin information unlocked. Please check the game log under gameplay for information on the killer gin Steam competition and killer gin Kickstarter. <laughs> it's clever marketing right there. <laughs> Let's check on Shin. Oh, wait. We, oh, yeah. I'm glad we came back this way because we can get this. Or not, right, or not. Let's look at our skills real quick and go to learn skills real quick. We used all our JP, remember? That's Play the piano. Well, that's true. But every, every character has their own JP. Right. Uh, the animals. That would be a good one to have. Mining. Alchemy. Did... We do have to learn alchemy, right? We do, yeah. So that's going to take the alchemy novice thing. Sandman? The chances of How alerting others... How much Okay. Pickpocket? Um... Get into those chests down there in the bottom. Didn't see it. It's at the bottom. Oh, there you go. Pickpocket. Now Yeah! This. Um, learn pickpocket MC. Um, talk key item successful depends on required level... Okay. Alright, he's gonna learn pickpocket. <laughs> Alright, we'll save it. We haven't saved it in a while. Boom! Okay, cool. Let's go Maybe down. Maybe he can get in that chest now. Maybe he can, but pickpocket is usually stealing. This isn't lock picking. Oh, okay. This is lock picking. And it's level expert, so even if it was the same, you're a novice. Novice, yeah. Right. Pickpocket is taking from a, an NPC, and lock picking is taking from a chest or, okay. or opening a door. Right. Oh, you saw me? You're good. Let's play hide and seek. Sure. <laughs> you're the coolest. I'll be hiding somewhere in town. Look for me everywhere. Including inside houses. Find me for your prize. I will hide for three minutes. If you can't find me, I will come back to this spot and you can try again. Close your eyes. I wonder what the prize is. Open them. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go this way. Oh, oh no! Wait, left. Chicken. And then we go left again. Oh, uh, chicken! Woohoo! All right, yeah, we got well, three we got of Grandma's three. chicken. We got a teleportation droplet. Hey, we're still on a timer. We got to find the, the little boy. Oh, wow, mushrooms. I'll take those. Um, where's, where's the little boy in here? Nope. Possibly. Possibly. He could be hiding. Or not. No, nope. <laughs> he's definitely not. Is this Grandma's chicken? Hey, hey, you should run from Grandma! Oh, uh, you don't seem to have a skill to mine. Oh, it's a uh -oh. mining. You can... Wow. Get that chicken! It's so Get cool the chicken. that there are... Oh, oh you almost have a corner. Oh, ah! Got him. <laughs> oh, it's not Grandma's chicken. At least he stops running around like a maniac. Oh, it's a fishing spot! Cool. Um, equip the rod. Fishing pole. Yeah. Uh, equip bait. Uh, uh bait. Cast line. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I saw pictures of this on my Discord. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember who did this. Who made this? Uh, oh, I just game. hold it. I just hold it. Wasn't it in Victor? Galv. Yeah, somebody. Galv. It's probably Gal. I think so. Yeah, I think this is his plugin. I'm still backing him on Patreon. Right, I think you have to be a Patreon oh, backer for this one. You yeah. don't want a clam? Who wants clams? Ah, I was trying to get it, actually. I guess <laughs> we're going to settle for this crab over here. Oh, come on. Come on, guy. Why did he not bite? Why did he not bite? <laughs> I don't understand that. Cast it. Hmm. this white fish. Come here. This reminds me of how much I didn't like the fishing part in Final Fantasy VI. You do have to kind of like spam it. Okay. Yeah. No, get over here, fish. Get it. Come here, fish. I'm going to get you. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, 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 oh. That sucks. I wish there was a little. Yeah. You got it, but now we don't know like. What it was. How so cool that right. was. Right. You have to kind of like get used, get ready for the. The one shot you get to see what you actually caught. It shows the weight and then the item you actually caught. Um, let's collect this clam. Get in here. Yep, yep. And then you hold it, you hold it until eventually it stops responding. Or is it not? I'm just holding it. There you go. Hold it. 
Nice! Come here, clam. Awesome. Oh, oh. See, I just held it and it's like boom boom. Yeah. But I yeah, wish there was a little the, bit the of transition is a little too fast. I wish there was a, yeah. a force instead of waiting for any input, it should wait for a, a key press, not right. just a uh, you know, like the upstroke, yeah. not just just uh, an input there. So that way you can't just hold it and skip past it. Oh, he didn't bite. He didn't bite. He might still get it. Come on, bite it. Come on, crab. You want this crab? You want this crab? Nope. It's no, not. It want it. What about this, this clamp? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're done with this actual escape. Okay, stop fishing. I've seen enough you, of it. You caught a fish. We did catch fish. Oh, okay. So you don't know when you're fishing because it goes too fast, but then it goes to this page, so that's pretty cool. So you, you do get to see what you caught. We did catch one fish, uh, 1303, I don't know what is it, inches, probably inches. Yeah. Weight, 1.74, I don't know, Almost maybe pounds. pounds. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Cool. Nice. Do we, we get that in our inventory? Will it rot? Food, is it a, yeah, it is, cool. You can just use it. 10% HP cures poison. Nice. Or it adds poison, because it's raw, you're gonna, but, <laughs> You can eat raw fish, bro. As long as it's fresh. Yeah, yeah. You can eat raw fish and it won't make you sick. It's called unless, sushi. Yeah. Sashimi. Unless it's got, Sashimi. Unless it's got parasites, in which yeah. still won't make you sick immediately. You just grow fun little pets inside your Yeah, intestines. you just become a... <laughs> a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's there's more to this. Let's leave the village. Let's see, you have to find me? Shin at the village entrance. Right, let's do that. Here we go. Where do you think you're going? You aren't going anywhere without me. I'm actually excited about this mission. I know, right? We finally get a chance to see the world and... I may finally find a worthy appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, we might want to upgrade our weapons and armor. I do know how to craft weapons. Let's stop by the crafting table in the village shop. Browsing through their goods wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. They have skill books and recipe books for sale, too. But first, let's check around the village for additional items and quests. Shin joined the party. Crafting skills unlocked. Weapon, armor, item, accessory, and gym crafting skills are now available to learn. So more stuff becomes unlocked, and everything is like, kind of like off. overload. It beginning. is a little, at, at the beginning it's a bit of an overload, we haven't even left the village yet. We... All kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. It's not Grandma's chicken. Okay, let's go talk to Grandma and turn those chickens in, because I yeah. believe we caught three of them. We caught three, it should be And we enough. actually collected, we've, we've caught like ten of them, I don't know, a bajillion of them, but three of them were hers. I've killed zero, what? Okay, I, I haven't killed any chickens. Okay, anyway, the more of my babies you find, the greater the rewards, even for counting... Find my baby Sam. Here's 50 leather for you and 250 gold. You return two. Thank you. Here is some of the beef and chicken for your table. Now don't trouble. Now don't look at me like that. The chicken is not one of my babies. Now where did Sam go? So here's what we got. We got 10 she beef, said, nine chicken. She said you returned two, but you returned three. So that chicken is Sam. Oh. Oh wait a minute. You returned return three, three of my babies. Received medium armor. I don't get it. Maybe yeah. maybe it's like condition, condition, condition in the yeah. branch. So if you returned one, you got that. And if you return two, then if you return right, three. Right. I understand how it's scripted, but and it's still functionality. The functional functionality of it works fine. It just kind of uh, when you're blade one after another after another, it doesn't. Make it Dynamic weather system going on. Maybe that's as ten o'clock hit, so the weather changes. We'll go south now, and I want to get the game safe and make a little bit more progress. Okay. There's little mine. I want to see if there's random encounters on the world map real quick. As we explore the world map quite a bit. The community dungeon, the dark forest. What are we supposed to do next? There are random encounters on the map, and we're using some more default uh, battlers. Let's thunder to this whole group. There's so much going on in that town, I have no idea what we're, what we're supposed to be doing. I forgot. We have to craft an alchemy default spot animation. We have to craft an alchemy potion. But remember? A they, small they, potion. A small potion, small healing potion. Okay. And there should be stuff in town to do that, and then we have to go back. But 
were able to leave the town, so I kind of wanted to do that. Will it be on the main quest log so you can tell what, like, it, it advances the main story? Because there are 12 quests to begin with that can get a little, a little overwhelming. Probably. We'll check the quest log after this battle. Yeah. Ice element. It costs an item. Um, let's not waste an item on that. Let's just do double strike. Yeah, I didn't even need to do that. Okay. Level 2, finally. Right. JP, we got um, some more items. Let's make our way back. Um, infinity dungeon. Small hut here. Let's check this small hut out. Real quick. There's a ton of stuff going on in this game. I don't know yeah. what right now. Uh, change the, the chests. I said a lot already. Maybe, uh. Oh, I remember this! This wolf versus vampire. You have to pick a side. So. What do we have here? Hello, Shinada. Um, do I know you? We make it a point to scout the area for potential, potential threats and allies. We have traveled from the south to personally deal with the vampire scourge. I'll give you a chance to join us. We believe the vampires have infected the forest with a dark magic that is threatening the very survival of the entire realm. My brethren plan to stop them by any means necessary. Do you wish to aid us? So should we join the werewolves, join the vampires, or stay neutral? There's not enough information. Well, you have to make a choice right here, right now. <laughs> Well, I don't know, this guy says he's protecting the realm, that seems kind of noble, but these vampires were just sitting in the cabin minding their own business and he came and murdered them, so how, how do you choose with this kind of information? He could be a ruthless vampire murderer and the vampires may suck blood from plants for all we know, and, 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 and he's a bad guy, or the vampires are bad guys and they're just trying to get set up to take over the village and he's a good guy. Yeah! Yeah! We'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't decide. We are going to um, join the werewolves. Join their cause. <laughs> I'm glad you chose wisely. Go find the vampire bane sword. Come speak to me for more details. According to legend, the Vampire Bane Sword is located on the third level of the Infinity Dungeon. I do not know exactly where the sword is located. Try talking to someone that has been inside the Infinity Dungeon. I don't care how you do it, just bring me the sword. Okay, I got it. Alright, so this game seems like it's a 20-30 hour game and this part is so much... So much has been packed into just what the first forty minutes. Yeah. It's like it's too condensed. You can you can space it out a little more, make it a bit longer. I don't know. It's a it's just a lot at it's one time. It's a lot all at once. Yeah, it's a lot all at once. But it's I love it actually. It's, it's really not bad. really good. It's yeah. really good. The the only complaints that I really have are too many default animations. You know, the, get rid of the save crystal idea. Uh, small things, right? You know, just make some new animations. And, and this is already in the works. I know that, that uh, you know, it's th still over a month before it's being released. Right. It's on Kickstarter. It has a lot of work left. It's, it's very impressive. It is very It's a impressive. very impressive yes. title. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's check this little mine out. And I guess I understand, like, in the vein of Final Fantasy XIV, you could either pursue the story, or you could pursue a career, or you could join a faction. And I get, like, giving people different branches. I mean, there is that, too, that has a lot of appeal. So, I mean, it just I guess it just depends on what you're going for. If right. that's what you're going for, you're doing a great job. It's awfully dark in here. I hope you have some torches ready. Check the treasure chest to your left for one. Let's click on the torch that lights up torch. We were instructed. We got a bomb and a torch. Yes, yes, yes. We were already instructed how to use the torch. We can throw bombs. We found a pickaxe by putting it uh, next to a crack on the wall. We feel a weakness in this wall. We don't have any bomb skill. Can we learn bomb skill? Learn, um... Bombing. Novice. We learned bombing. So let's save the game here. Bam. Okay, cool. And now, let's use bombs. Boom! Well, let's just go through here. Very Zelda-esque. I love it! It's 
great. Look at all that gold. Give me that gold. Quite the reward, quite the payoff. Yes. Learning that skill, that's cool. It's locked. We don't have lock picking, we have pickpocketing. You know, can we learn lock picking? Lock picking novice takes uh, the book. We don't have the book for it. But we could go to town as instructed and learn lock picking if we yeah, wanted to. Yeah, buy the book. But again, that brings me back to the three things required for one skill on a list, a long list of skills. Well, I'm guessing it's just going to get longer. No, I think it's three. And the reason why the, the, the first thing you need is to be able to be far enough in the story that it unlocks that thing. And then after you've been far enough in the story that it unlocks the thing, you need the skill book. And then once you've found the skill book in whatever particular area, probably multiple ways, you need the JP, which I is part of battle. I would base it on levels. Right, right. I but, would base it on levels, not items. Just what if somebody doesn't see the crack in the wall and then lock picking is forever unavailable to them because they didn't get the lock pick. Right. I personally like how it's done. Yeah. I, I like how it's done. These chickens Get that chicken! Why are Get they it. everywhere? The Just unnecessarily <laughs> everywhere. Five chickens. Feel the need to dig. <laughs> That's funny. Oh god, what? I just like walked up to a wall and it auto attacked me. That was kind of lame. What's up with that? Yeah. Okay. So you don't want random encounters, but at the same time, if the not random encounters are unavoidable, they're still random encounters. Right. So let's try, do we have any area of attack? Because that was very, very helpful for this general. Piano. It's <laughs> passive though. I don't know how that playing piano is going to help in this fight. That's funny. Uh, let's just do smash on the B. We got to do a group fire, this whole group, yes. Um, General, enemy scan, baton, I don't know if I want all of them attacking one person. We just use a heal and should not have a potion. Probably a best off being more aggressive instead of healing. But I just don't want someone to get targeted like crazy. It, I think she took all the hits so far. She just keeps taking all the hits. Is that a balancing issue? A targeting issue. Targeting issue? I don't know. Yeah, it's we don't have more taunts. distributed. Gain 100 SP, cooldown 10 rounds, remove negative status effects. Let's do that. See if it takes off the question mark state. Dang. What does. is the question mark state? I see that every time you get in the battle. What is oh, she doesn't have. Okay, energy punch. It's like you're confused. Your stats are probably lower. I don't know exactly what it does. If you if you have a status effect at the I beginning of every battle, that would be. Ooh, we overkilled that one. That was that was damage. Nice. You get. Said overkill, so you're yeah. gonna get 2.5 nice. money. That's nice. Double experience and double the drop rate on that particular enemy. These battles are um, for for just a regular cave enemy battle that you can't avoid because they move too fast. It seems maybe a little strong. They seem a little strong. They are pretty hard. Though. Yeah. Okay, let's try to do this. Is this enemy healing? You know, like, are they healing? Damn! Oh, no. Ultra Instinct applies a state. Hit percent counters, evasion increase with this more stage. I don't know if we want to throw it on that. Uh, special attack. We'll try a special attack. Nice. Pretty cool. Bang, bang. Okay. Energy. Smash them. And then keep healing. We'll just attack. It's a, a, a tough fight. Yeah, it's a, and if it's just a normal battle in the, in the dungeon, it really shouldn't take... I, I, I can't remember the dungeon. It's a regular, random encounter. Maybe a little long, huh? A minute, maybe? But that's not always the case. In some, in yeah. some games... You ever played the old Final Fantasy game, right? The original. Not six, you know, not three on SNES. I think it was yeah. three on Phantom. 
some of the battles in that game were ridiculously long and just atrocious. <laughs> well, that's the thing, they're atrocious. Yeah. You don't want that. You don't want atrocious in right. your game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm talking about from examples. Coden 2, Coden 3, the one of the reasons why they're so great is because you just bam, 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 you break through these battles in no time. You feel OP, and then you hit the boss and they cream you, and you have to, <laughs> you have to work to beat them. But these little guys... It shouldn't be as hard as they are. No. Alright. Here we go. Couple of level ups there. Do we get nice. healed? We got lots of, uh, of experience from that. Do we get healed from leveling up? We do not. Okay, but we do have a gen healer, right? She's a gen healer, but she doesn't have any healing spells. I don't understand that. You need heal spells. You know, our battle mage has recovering magic, but yeah. give give your gen healer a healing item. Are you kidding? You can't use these healing items. Ow. Why not? Why can you not use healing potions outside of battle? Outside of you battle, you have to use a battle turn in a battle that's balanced like that. That's not a good news. No, no that's not I good hate news. that idea. Yeah, it's so dumb. So what do you do? I mean, have you even seen it in yet? How do you heal? You can only heal in battle. Just use your. Can you use? You can. No, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous okay. that you can't use a, a potion outside of combat. It's completely stupid and arbitrary. It's anti. Uh, you can't remove your poison. Okay. That's the dumbest thing I've seen in the game so far. Yeah. Anyway, it's locked. You need a master key to unlock that. Most of the treasure chests are unable to be opened. You gotta stay out of their line of sight. I do like how they're using a Trax lighting type of thing to, to to show their line of sight. Right. So that helps. Ooh. It's not entirely accurate. Not though. the not the whole thing. Right? Yeah. Okay, also, Grandma's Chicken, you need to get rid of them. There's too many in too many places. Also, make the maps two tiles wide. They shouldn't be one tile wide. Okay, anyway, I think we're done with this first impression right here. That was the, the limit. Yeah, you know, we, we have a lot of suggestions for this game, but I gotta say, this is really very exciting. Impressive. I like this game so yeah, far. It's yeah, a very definitely. impressive game. Yeah. I think it's got um, a little bit of work to, to be had on it before it's like, um, you know, Amazing, yeah. but it is very good. It, it is, is very good very title. Good. It needs some work. Animations, fix the animations. Um, make some of the the pathways two tiles wide, so uh, you don't have obstructions constantly yeah. by the events. Um, also, get rid of the chickens in every every area. <laughs> they don't need to be in every area. Too many chickens. Too many chickens. <laughs> um, and then the battle balancing for the little guys. This should be just a little bit easier. You know, you want to be able to grind through these things instead of getting stuck on them for a few minutes. Kind of right. Also, the enemies, the 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 artwork that you're using for the enemies, I've seen them a bajillion times. I put them in my own games. Everybody's seen them. They're kind of sick of them. Um, I like the fact that you're using the animated SV enemies. That's really good plugin for me on fly. Yeah. Um, it's, it adds a lot. It's so they're not just static. Yeah. I love your custom animations. Your custom busts. Your custom uh, battlers. They look amazing. They're really really good job on those. Yeah. Um, Add some custom sound effects in here. Um, definitely add some, change the animations up quite a bit. Don't use default spark animation, please. Rip. Okay. And why do your players? Why does your party start with a status effect at the beginning of every battle? I don't know. That was explained. Is. That was explained. What is that? When the enemy gets the jump on you, if they attack you from the side or from behind, then your stats are lowered. I don't really remember exactly what happens, okay. but but something right. happens so that. They're, they're, they have, they're gonna go before you, all right. and if you start the battle from behind the enemies, you get to jump on them. Okay. So that, that all makes sense. I understand that all right. all to right. a certain point. Like I'm not sure what the state does. The state may right. change their stats. Maybe it's remember. a little too, too strong. Or, or did maybe it shouldn't it be three rounds? Right. Maybe one or yeah. two rounds or something. Yeah. Yeah. But really great job, Killer Jan. Awesome. Yes. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you guys can download the free uh, demo for this. Uh, the Kickstarter is currently going on right now. Go back this project if you're interested in it. It's very, it's definitely worth your time. It's it only is. going to get better. I've seen this project a long, long time ago, a very, very early, early prototype of it. And the writing was, it captivated, captivated me right from the beginning. The writing's very good, done very well in this game. Yeah. Um, the, the humor's good, the characters, it seems to be a very character-driven, character storyline-driven. Yeah. I love that. The, there's so many interactables in this game, there's something all over the place. In every map there's like a thousand things going on. 
And it, uh, I personally like how you're doing the skill system. I like using uh, Ganfly's job points to unlock things, even though you have to noise gate in. It's not gonna, you're, you're never gonna be able to satisfy everybody. You know, you can't please everybody on, on everything that you're doing. Um, so, I mean, keep up the good work, Killer Jan. Everybody who's watching, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. T's got a channel, link to hers also in the description below. Um, link to the Kickstarter for this is going to be in the description. All of the stuff related to this Killer Jan is going to be in the, in the description below. KillerJan.com, check it out, guys. Really, really nice looking website, too. Um, just awesome, awesome yeah. job. Keep um, it up, Killer Jan. Yeah, Do keep on this going. Thing. This is good. Keep on going. Yeah. I can see this being a very, very. Um, amazing project and right now it's in a good condition just keep on going and I love to see what's happening months from now or even in one month from now yeah. but that's gonna do it for our first impressions on the newest uh, Kickstarter version demo version of the killer gen uh, I really do like it and hope to see more in the next coming weeks you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching hyped about the new place hyped about everything support me on patreon if you want your game to be played there are some slots filled every month they're gonna if you upon request i will be playing your game every month so yeah that is there links are in the description below you guys are awesome we'll see you in the next one bye bye, bye. <laughs> i'm curious what, where this is going actually